Hey dudes, so I uh, just wanted to do a quick little speed test and camera test comparison here between the Galaxy uh, J7 and the Galaxy A8, which I think really uh, are distant cousins here. You know, the A8 a little bit more premium build, uh, but very similar handsets in many respects. So I wanted to see how they compared here. This is the Exynos uh, 7580 versus the Exynos 5 series. Uh, in the A8, so slightly lower end, I think. Uh, but it should be interesting to see how they compare. So you can see the J7 does boot up faster here. Uh, it does only have 1.5 gigs of RAM versus 3 gigs, so maybe that will help this. But very surprising that Samsung chose to put a lower end processor in than the uh, J7, uh, which has a very nice Exynos 7 series. Nevertheless, how do they compare when it comes to the uh, day to day? We can have a look here. Just going to close everything off. Uh, both are in the Android 5.1.1, so very nice and up to date, nearly, uh, when it comes to the Android. So about 1-1 one, one there, 2-1 to the J7, very nice, and a little bit uh, different here on that one, uh, Viber, A8 come up again, uh, camera, about identical, which is nice. Uh, also, uh, we do have the dialer. Probably a little bit quicker here on the right. And also Tinder. So similar there. And YouTube. So J7 again, very nice. Uh, Twitter, J7 again. So I'm probably going to give this to the J7 actually when it comes to the day to day. It seems to be uh, opening up stuff that a little bit faster here. What about the games? Which is nice. Uh, also, I think we have some GTA. So strangely, it looks like the A8 is opening the games a bit faster. So I'm probably going to give this to the J7, totally unexpected to be honest, considering the price difference. And you know, uh, that goes to show you really, uh, you know, you probably get more for your money here sometimes. Uh, we can have a look at the actual uh, uh, performance here of the web browsing. Uh, so we're just going to open up some web pages here. So this is Wikipedia, you can see very nice and quick on the left. Uh, the A8 should have an advantage here when it comes to the uh, the 5G band support, which this doesn't have. But what I'm seeing is faster loading here on the left, which is really amazing. Uh, what else do we have? Twitter. Wow, that is fantastic. Let's try a traditional one, Verge. So, Verge, Gold. Got to be careful which one I click then. If 
for those of you who were observant. <laughs> but you can see, again, faster here on the left. Wow, that is very nice. And wow, what's this? This is like a different uh, headline here. But it says like the same kind of story. That's really weird. Uh, it's weird that The Verge would uh, criticise Apple, and it's weird that it's different. But nevertheless, I'm giving it to the J7 here. Very nice performance indeed. Uh, we can have a look at the uh, multitasking, so see how it manages that little poultry 1.5 gigs of RAM versus 3 gigs. So you can see slightly faster for the keyboard here. Reload. J7 is well ahead. Probably going to win by knockout. About the same for the camera. Again, came up faster. Uh, what about the game so the game comes up faster on the no. it's uh, about the same there when it came up to the menu I thought the A8 was going to win then what about GTA ooh quicker here that is nice performance here from the J7 absolutely fantastic uh, so you know you can see here flawless victory from the J7 uh, which uh, you know I was expecting good performance because of the processor but not really that good uh, to be honest so props to uh, the J7 here uh, we do have some cameras here as well in the back obviously 30 megapixel versus the 16 megapixel ISO cell and I was expecting the ISO cell to dominate, uh, but it's not necessarily the case. You can have a look at some of these samples that I did do out and about. I think the major uh, difference I actually noticed was that the J7 can do HDR uh, in widescreen mode, whereas the A8 can't do that, which is pretty annoying, really. Uh, both of them don't do 4K, obviously. Uh, but you can see here, you know, very comparable in terms of the actual quality. It's very uh, remarkably surprised by the J7, uh, which uh, should be a little bit lower end for the camera. Uh, so, <laughs> very nice uh, here. And also, obviously, uh, the low light is another area. I think both of them struggle a little bit in that particular regard. Uh, none of them obviously support the optical image stabilization. Uh, you can have a look at the video quality as well. As you can see I don't think there was a, a massive difference when it came to the video recording but what struck me was you know the good quality images coming out of the J7 very comparable uh, to the uh, higher end A8 so so to speak uh, and also obviously you know in terms of the actual software here uh, I, I was quite uh, surprised at the limitations of the HDR mode that you do get on the A8 for example if you want to put that on uh, here you can see uh, it uh, will only allow you to do it in the 4x3 ratio 
Uh, whereas if you want to do it here on the uh, the J7, you can do it with the widescreen. Uh, so that's a pretty big limitation if you ask me, which I don't really understand. Uh, but both of them do come with the Pro mode obviously, which is fantastic for those who are more budding in terms of the camera. Uh, but you know, I'm very blown away by the good performance here from the J7. Could be one of the best budget phones I think of 2015. We'll see obviously because it's not the end yet. But yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.